Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. I want to talk to you today about recovering loss. Let me give you a short description of what we'll be covering in this podcast teaching. In the future economic chaos that will encompass the world, you may, if not prepared, suffer financial and material loss. Well, you may answer me right now, I've already suffered loss. Yes, my friend, many people have suffered loss already due to the pandemic, COVID, due to economic shutdown, due to other conditions. But this message, my friend, will help you to recover all. And in addition, it's going to help you to get back everything you lost and more and do greater works for the Lord. So let's talk about recovering loss, specifically how to recover loss. If you've lived long enough, it's quite possible you've encountered some type of loss, or let me put it this way, suffered some kind of loss. Suffer because any type of loss can cause you some kind of mental or physical anguish. What you want to be aware of and guard against is that you do not allow the loss to cause anguish of the spirit. Many times loss is a result of a particular stratagem of Satan to get you to stop action or to discourage you from going forward or to harass you mentally and confuse you so that you don't focus on the important goals of the kingdom of God the ordained purpose of your existence at this particular time of your life. At times, the loss we encounter may be our own fault as a result of ignorance or lack of knowledge in a specific area, disobedience to God's law, not taking advantage of information available to us, presumption, and or foolishness like gambling. And that, my friend, can even be in relation to the stock market or investing. There can be as many types of loss as there are activities or relationships in which we're involved. For example, financial loss, loss of a loved one, physical or mental loss due to health issues, loss of the anointing of the Ruch HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. In this teaching, I want to teach you how to recover loss. Many times, hard or difficult times are a good sign, especially for the people of God. For example, a physical condition or a material situation or just tough happenings will crop up right before you're entering a new dimension of service to God. You might not be aware that a new dimension of service to the Lord is about to unfold. Or you may have been praying and fasting for it. A new level or area of service to God is extremely important for the people you will be reaching and for the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach you are serving. When King David and his men returned to Ziklag, they discovered their wives and children and all their property had been taken by the Amalekites. And after consulting with the Lord, David was directed this way. God told him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. The message for you, my friend, is go, recover all the enemy has stolen from you. Bind Satan in Jesus' name and command him to repay you seven times for everything he has stolen from you. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 30 to 31, Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he's hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. How much more shall the devil, using his demonic agents to steal from you, be commanded in Jesus' name to restore to you sevenfold, if not even more? Notice that David and his men not only recovered their wives, their children, and property that had been stolen, but also recovered all the spoil the Amalekites had stolen from the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. I want you to notice something also. The night before this happened, David was greatly distressed when his men discovered their loss because the people were considering stoning him. 
However, the Bible tells us that David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. You can read that in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. A few days later, after recovering the losses at Ziklag, plus extra riches, David received word that his enemy, King Saul, had been slain in battle. David then went up to Hebron, where the men of Judah anointed him king over Judah. Remind yourself, the Lord's prophet Samuel had already anointed king previously. Now let me give you a summary to help you out. Hard times are many times a sign that you are entering a new dimension of service for God and increased blessing for you and for the people you will be serving. Hard times are many times a sign that the devil's greatly concerned about the new dimension of service you will be entering and therefore is trying to defeat you through discouragement so that you will roll over and quit. Do not do it, my friend. Get up. Act and recover all. In hard times, you have an excellent opportunity to encourage others. They could see your trust in God. Your declaration of faith will position you into God's favor. Your testimony will encourage others to know or grow Messiah Jesus in their lives. Now let me give you a suggestion. Get alone with God and listen to Him. You may want to fast. If your loss has been financial or material, as many peoples will be in the future, and some have already been as a result of COVID and economic shutdowns, then make a covenant with God. Tell him that you want to give him a certain amount above your normal tithes and offerings for a certain amount of time or a certain length of new venture you're entering. And by the way, check out the Bible in Malachi chapter 3. You can give this money to your synagogue or church or prayer group or to the needy or orphans or widows or any good news gospel outreach to help people know the Lord or to grow in the Lord, be discipled. Learn to work with God hand in hand to bless the nations. This is true prosperity. The Bible tells us in Torah in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto your fathers. My friend, remember, the devil wants to kill you, steal from you, and destroy you. And in the same way, he wants to attack your seed line, your family, your progeny. But the good news is that Messiah Yeshua, Jesus, the Anointed One, came to planet Earth that you might have life and have it more abundantly, and that your family and your seed line and your progeny might have life and have it more abundantly. This is God's will for you in addition to eternal life in heaven. And God's word for you today, my friend, is this. Get up, act, and recover all and God will bless you with even more. This has been your friend, Prince Hanley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba, Bashim Adonai.